If we see the universe from the perspective of a photon, there is no such thing as time. Photons do not experience time. They are emitted and might exist for trillions of years from our perspective, but for the photon, there is zero time elapsed between when it's emitted and when it's absorbed again. Not just this, particles like photons that travel at the speed of light don't experience even the distance. This actually happens due to the phenomena of time dilation and length contraction. Do you know that time does not pass at the same rate for all the observers? Time actually slows down as the speed of an observer increases and completely stops at the speed of light. You can understand it easily with the following formula of time dilation. T is equals to T naught divided by square root of 1 minus V square by C square, where T is equals to time observed in the other reference frame. T naught is the time in observer's own frame of reference, which is the rest time and v is the velocity of the observer and c as you all know is the speed of light in vacuum which is 299792458 meters per second so according to the formula as v increases value of t becomes larger which means time dilates and as v becomes equal to the speed of light that is c time dilation becomes infinite which means time stops it does not pass anymore. One more phenomena that becomes noticeable for a very fast moving observer is the length contraction. See the following formula. L is equals to L naught multiplied by square root of 1 minus V square by C square. Here you can observe that as the speed of the moving object increases, its length contracts in the direction of its motion and at the speed of light it actually becomes zero so a photon that moves at the speed of light which is actually the particle of light does not experience time and distance another phenomena associated with a moving object having mass is the change in mass mass of an object increases as its speed increases and it reaches to infinity at the speed of light it is clear from the following formula m is equals to m naught divided by square root of 1 minus v square by c square where m is the moving mass and m naught is the rest mass but it is not possible for any object having mass to reach the speed of light because at that speed its mass becomes infinite and infinite amount of energy is needed to move an infinitely heavy mass but photons are the massless particles, therefore their moving mass is also zero. So photons move at the speed of light. Photons may require hundreds of thousands of years to journey from core of a star to its surface before ultimately venturing into the vastness of space. Surprisingly, this voyage taking billions of light years through the cosmos is not different from a simple transition of a photon between atoms as distance and time doesn't matter to it. Guys, please subscribe and hit the bell icon to get all the notifications. Thank you for watching.